Hello, Internet. It's me, Impossible Winterborn. I've been thinking a lot about these street art videos, and I wanted to do something to kind of class them up. You know, street art has a reputation for being kind of a lowbrow art form. Not everybody's as sophisticated as I am, so it's developed kind of a reputation. I don't want to just release a bunch of street art videos that I've done, just look like graffiti and vandalism, and, uh, and have nothing to kind of raise the bar up to the, uh, the highbrow community, something to make it a little bit more sophisticated. So today, I've decided that I'm going to introduce a segment called Winterborn's Poetry Corner. That's right, Winterborn's Poetry Corner. I've got some poems here by some famous poets that I love, and I thought that I would just raise the bar a little bit by reading some poetry. So we're going to get into it. Uh, I'm going to show you some street art stuff that I've done in Chicago from the archives. You know, we're going back to the first ones, and then we're making our way up to the present day, and that's what these videos are about. Uh, before that begins, I want to read you a little excerpt of one of my favorite poems by one of my favorite poets, David St. Hubbins. This one's called Big Bottom. The bigger the cushion, the sweeter the pushing. That's what I said. The looser the waistband, the deeper the quicksand. Or so I have read. My baby fits me like a flesh tuxedo. I like to sink her with my pink torpedo. Big bottom, big bottom, talk about bum cakes, my girl's got em. Big bottom, drive me out of my mind. How could I leave this behind? Enjoy the vandalism. Continues. I saw her on Monday. Twas my lucky Monday. You know what I mean. I love her each weekday, each velvety cheek day. 
You know what I mean. My love, the gun's loaded and she's in my sights. Big game is waiting there inside her tights. Big bottom, big bottom. Talk about mud flaps, my girl's got them. Big bottom drive me out of my mind. How could I leave this behind? That was Big Bottom by David St. Hubbins. Join me next time when I'll dig up some other classic poetry to read for you. Until then, keep it classy, San Diego. Shouldn't have said that.